Okay, yeah, this is... This is, um, especially for people that have not watched Torchwood. Torchwood was sort of broken down into cells. Like Torchwood 1, mm -hmm. Torchwood 2, Torchwood 3, Torchwood 4. And I think Torchwood 4 is Jack's team. Okay. Um, I think it was either Torchwood... I think it was Torchwood 2 is the one that vanished. I'm wondering, is Torchwood 2... Could they be the ones responsible for a lot of this? Do you think Torchwood 2 might come into play? Another Torchwood team? Because Torchwood 2 had more money behind it, and it just vanished. I don't think they would have put out that they were out there. Like, they, I don't think they would have been the ones to send, like, the email or anything. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I was just like, it's one of those things. I mean, is it time for them to, to bring that story? Because it seems like it's something that, you know, they set up a long time ago to bring this back. Or they might just, just have thrown it away now at this point, because it's now so more Torchwood International than Torchwood Cardiff. It does seem pretty clear that uh, the assassin being sent to kill Jack, Jack's yeah. mortality, Miracle Day, and the Torchwood message are all connected oh, to the oh. same person. Oh yeah. I don't think they're going to pull something as contrived as saying that one or more of those things are just unrelated subplots. Yeah. Um, another question. Do you think that Burt Man felt any pain? Yes. Well, to a certain point. I think yeah. he felt pain when those bombs exploded on him. Yeah. I... I think it's probably just numbness after that when he's on that table. In shock, yeah. Well, yeah, I think it comes down to a question of how many nerve endings are still there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Um, now, do you think that was the bomber or the security guard? The bomber. The bomber. bomber. They said they, they thought he was at the center of the explosion. Yeah, well, I mean, he wasn't, I mean, the, the other dude wasn't all that far from the explosion True. either. Yeah, but uh, it's the look he exchanged with Jack, I think, that really made it clear who it was. <laughs> yeah. And Jack was really ready for that guy to get his head cut off. Yeah, and how willing he, and how willing Jack was to just volunteer that experiment. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, well, he lived with all And... Time. An interesting thing, um, and we're sort of coming to the end here, um, you were talking about, you know, the writer's room and them coming together for mm -hmm. um, a discussion about, you know, what, what we should do. Um, the, the original premise for season three, which never occurred, because they went the miniseries instead, or at least, at least one or two of the episodes were going to involve this, this storyline, um, from, from what I've been told and what I can gather, you know, this... You know, and this could just mean something passing. But one of the one of the possible stories for season three was Jack was going to be given a second chance to save everybody. Oh. But to save everybody, there was going to be a consequence. Right. We don't know what the consequence was. We don't know the extent, or at least I've never been able to find out more than just that this was a possible storyline. And it kind of feels for me is I'm wondering if we're building to that. Because one thing about Doctor Who that they're really good about doing is blocking spoilers mm -hmm. um, if they really want to. Because, I mean, look at A Good Man Goes to War. Nobody knew the River Song thing until they did it. Yeah. They kept it under wraps. I mean, it would be really easy to possibly pull this off, um, you know, and find some way to bring back these characters through Miracle Day. Um... Do you think it's possible that this that could be where this is leading to? To bring back those members? Or do you think they're just totally gone for good and something we don't have to worry about at all? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't see them bringing back the dead, just stopping death. Well, I mean... We don't know. We don't know what caused it. I mean, I think it's fairly obvious. Just yeah, it's going to have to be some sort of alien technology here that did it, and that's another reason why I'm wondering if the missing Torchwood Institute that's missing is the ones that are behind it because Torchwood does have access to alien technology. Because um, I doubt it's Unit. Um, of course, Unit and Torchwood have never really played together yet, um, and I just don't see them bringing y Unit in. Um, I think it's going to be something new. They're not going to drag out some sort of convoluted... Well, I don't think they would bring in, especially it. because this is an American audience that they're aiming this at, I don't think they would bring in too many things from the older series that would confuse their audience and well, go, see, I don't want to watch this I would, anymore. I would hope not, 
But we are talking Davies here. Yeah, but we're also talking that he's working with stars, and they may have set certain things down on the table and go, you have to keep this so our viewers Which I, I would be very happy with. And you actually bring up the last question I'm going to bring up tonight. Because um, you do mention stars, because stars is notorious for its adult content. <laughs> um, if we, I mean, if you've seen Spartacus Blood and Sand, if you saw Camelot, you know they're not afraid of the male nudity. Yes. <laughs> Do you think <laughs> by the end of this series, because I mean, there's been hints, even Barrowman has hinted at this. Do we see a full frontal jack? Oh god, I hope so. I think they're just trying to get all the ladies to watch. But, I mean, it could happen. I, at the moment, don't think it is just because after seeing the nature of the story, unless he's like on a hospital bed dying and they rip all his clothes off or something. That wouldn't be so sexy. But, yeah, that wouldn't be. <laughs> so. What about we, you? We can hope. I'm... <laughs> Fantasize. <laughs> I know I'm pretty okay with it happening one way or the other. Okay. Um, okay. But it will. <laughs> then okay. Um, then you don't know about what happened about the actor on set. You didn't hear about the big controversy that happened. This hap This came out about the time of TimeGate and when you guys were at um, an amazement. Um, an actor on set, or this might have been when I was at Gay Lexicon, but an actor on set. Um, there is, there is a sex scene. There is a sex scene with Captain Jack. It, I think it happens in episode three or four. But basically the actor started bad-mouthing the show because he had the sex scene. Um, but the thing is, is he was He's hired. No, I mean, no, he was hired for this. It even said that, you know, this is what you'd be doing. And, you know, he had no problem until after the fact. Um... Just jealous of getting more screen time with Captain Jack. No, it was, he was basically <clears throat> belittling everything. Um, which is going to be interesting to see if they cut that scene because of how the actor acted, or if it's going to stay in there, or what's going to happen. But yeah, I do know there was a scene filmed. So, I mean, and we'll talk more about that. I'm, I'm going to get more information about what occurred with the actor and everything when we get to that point, which unfortunately you're not going to be here for that episode because so you're leaving to yeah. go to Disney World and then shoot a film and be all, like, <laughs> awesome-like. Um... But yeah, envy. um, what? I said envy. But I'll be well, just back Disney in, World. In four weeks. And if I mean Torchwood will still be running, so we'll yeah. get you, we'll get your thoughts. We might actually do a, a quick episode of Galfrey Pirate Radio with just you, you know, catching up your 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 thoughts and feelings about the episodes that you've missed with us, and then we'll get you back in on episode five six. Like that, yeah. Um. So any. Final thoughts or anything you want to say? Hey, okay. When Jack was holding up his little psychic paper and was like, FBI, I'm Owen Harper. Yeah. Um, that wasn't psychic paper. That was actually a, oh, a real, oh, a yeah, real ID. I wasn't sure if it was this. Oh, Captain Jack in a tie. I know. That's kind of mm. weird. But I was like, oh, he used Owen's name. And I was yeah. like, wait. I'm, I'm kind of wondering if that's just, just because or. It's one of those little things for people that okay. watch Torchwood. Anything from you? You're good? I'm good. Anything? Final thoughts? Any? Anything you want to say? The two doctors was really bad. <laughs> I'm sorry for the two doctors, but we'll see more Colin, and you're going to see that Colin wasn't a bad doctor. It's just the BBC hated Doctor Who at the time. He doesn't believe you. I don't think I can trust you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. I don't trust you even less. <laughs> but do you trust me enough to help you move? Well, yeah. <laughs> so um, I, I pretty much said everything I wanted to say in this episode of of the of Galfrey Pirate Radio. Um, so until next time, next week, because we're going to be caught up this week with all of our episodes, <gasps> which I'm very excited about. I'm editing like a bad man. Um, like without a box. box. Without a box. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's right. Um, until next time, uh, ciao. Exactly. Bye.